<laughs> it's so good. Hey, hey. All right. Hi, hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, if you're new here, hi, TK and then TK Dogs K Bop. Where we do K Bop reaction videos on versus is all like a jazz. Better watch this. You saw the title. BB Girls. Bruh. Bruh, y'all, they dropped a dance practice for Give It To Me. Um, no. I want to say Give It To Me because they say Give It To Me in the class. But, um, one more time. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I figured, you know what? Let's check out the dance practice and check out that B-side uh, Lemonade while I've got the time to do so. Just because, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so... So excited for their career. I just wanna, just wanna. I'm not, I'm not done like looking at them yet. Like I wanna, uh, I wanna experience more of them. So I'm gonna listen to uh, Lemonade, and then I have the dance practicing cue. Let's get right into it. Mm. Wow, voice. Melody, who's the bass? Gushin. Brass? Was that a saxophone? Was that a grass? Was that a saxophone sample? Oh! The vocals are vocaling, but this production is fantastic. Melody. Mm. <laughs> Bro, I love how soft the transition into the chorus is. Very catchy. Where that the saxophone. Mm. Woo, voice. Mm. Bro, give us more brass. Yes, indeed. Voice. Mm. Uh, I love what they did with their vocals, with their song, and the chorus, with the layering in the back. Yo, that saxophone sample. The layers. Wow. Wow. Y'all, that was very nice. We love to see it. You know, you know, it gives um the song itself instrumentally gives Dua Leap a vibe. It's um very much that kind of retro um throwback um um pop pop vibe. Which 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 I don't mind. Like I like like, I know a lot of people complain about it nowadays. I don't necessarily mind the sound. I just don't have much to say about it. Like, 
because it's not really my go-to. Like, it's probably not a song that I would, like, go to listen to, but I definitely wouldn't skip it if it came on, like, a playlist, if that makes sense. Like, it's a good song. It's just genre-wise. It's not my go-to, unless I'm, like, in the specific mood for it or whatnot. But what... But I think, actually, I will revisit it anyway, just because of the, like, saxophone sample in the chorus. That's what, that in the instrumentation choices, like, everything just sounded so crisp. And, like, the, the chorus itself, ugh, oh, their voices, ooh, ooh. But that saxophone sample really was, like, ugh, oh, ugh, oh, that was really making me feel it. And so that's the type of thing that would make me, bruh. Bro, watch. I'm actually probably going to have the song repeat just because of that. <laughs> we love to see it. I enjoy it. It's very cute. It's very cute. We love that. And bro, and I always say, with these, like, these, like, retro, um, these type of, these, like, these, like, retro, like, disco, funk, like, groovy, inspired songs, you got to have the vocals. You got to have the vocals. Or else it don't hit. Or else it don't hit. And what I said. And what I said, BB girls got vocals, child. That's probably what you... <laughs> That's probably going to be the conclusion of a lot of the things that I say about them. Because, um, like, even as brave girls, that was something that really stood out to me. Like, I love their voices. And just, like, the melody writing in their songs. Like, child, they can say. Mm, mm, mm. Let's do um, the dance practice for one more time. Yes! You see the sass in their faces? Give it to me, baby. What? Yes! They are ready to be back, bitch! Come through. Hey! <laughs> I love that choreography! I love that move. I was doing that all day yesterday. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> this, the hair flip. <laughs> Come on. Very graceful. What? The pus. <laughs> And it's you, the posture, the experience, it's showing. What? The ooze in the back? Wow. I can't believe Min Young just casually be singing like this. Why oh, she's so graceful? This song is so uh, catchy. <laughs> what? Yo, the adlibs are so quiet in this song, though. Woo. Mm. Like, they're basically just a part of the instrumental. Do you hear it? It's like, what? <laughs> In the back. Hey, hey, it's still going. <laughs> it's the bruh. Oh, sus. Come on, POV. Oof. Yes, indeed. Mm. Mm. Back. Hey. <laughs> 
I love that move! You hear that? I cannot be going crazy. Someone else has to hear it. What? Ugh. Ugh, that was just, that was just perfect quintessential K-pop girl group choreography. It was graceful. It had a little bit of sass. It had these catchy, like almost quirky moves to it. Like, bruh, that is, that is, that is like, like, like 70% of second gen. <laughs> And going into third gen, K-pop girl group choreography, and we love to see it because, you know, like, the choreography landscape is different now. And while I feel like with um, the TikTok challenge things, it's starting to kind of sort of, like, make its way back to that, this one was just really just like, hey, good old-fashioned K-pop catchy goy oh Bitch, that anyone can like well not just anyone child because not anyone can not just anyone can do what they do and make it look good <laughs> i promise you try it and you'll be surprised um but child we love to see it we love to see it i love that song bro but this song one more time it's actually been like on repeat like <laughs> it's that chorus is so catchy like that chorus has no right being that catchy for like like it but like it's just the right type of repetitive like they didn't repeat any of the wrong things so it's just catchy instead of like annoying if that makes sense because i can see someone making an argument that the song's repetitive and i can't really like argue against that but i can't argue that for me it works it's just like and that adds to it oh we'd love to see it anyways um i don't have much more to say beyond that we'd love to see it uh i'll see y'all in the next one thanks for watching like comment subscribe if you choose love you bye